So we're going to, uh, we're going to get ready to go in a couple minutes. I think we're just waiting for a couple other people. I see uh, Jeff Hardy's kind of connecting. We'll see if we could hear Jeff. Jeff, can you hear us? I can. Awesome. Hi, everybody. Hey, Jeff. Hey, so uh, I think it's uh, high noon. We'll give everybody one more minute, and then we're going to kind of kind of just kind of get going into it. But I, I see more and more people coming in, and uh, and very exciting time to kind of get this day going, right, and making sure that uh, – making sure that it's a, a fun event here. It's very filled. So, oh, look, Jeff, you even got a camera on. So that's great. Good to see. Let's go. And yeah, of course, yeah, I've yeah. got to dial in on a phone too, just to make sure that the audio actually works. But I'm pumped. I love this event. It's going to be a, a great time. Excellent. Well, yeah, I think I think we have a quorum. I think it's kind of an, enough to kind of let's, let's get ready going. So... Uh, <laughs> Hey, Kelsey, can I ask a quick question here, a technical question here? I got notification that the uh, the event was now live streaming, but I, th I think we had talked about on the BMC main event page, where there's currently uh, like a video that we had posted, that was going to be replaced by the live stream, and I haven't seen that happen yet. So yep, it's all up. <laughs> if you refresh, it should be there. Okay. See, I have you refreshing. All right, well, while we work on the technical side on ours, let's... Uh, let me kind of kick it off here. So everybody, uh, welcome to the seventh annual BMC St. Baldrick's event. Um, I'm George Balantoni. Next to me is the one and only Dave Tobias. Um, every year he tries to outdo himself. And, you know, this year we went with green. Next year we're going to have to vote on hair color as we get into it. But uh, I just want to say first and foremost, thank you to everybody for joining in, volunteering, donating, being a part of this cause. Um, we have a packed day today. I'm very excited about it. We have two locations going. So we have a big event going live down in Cary. So uh, Kelly and Katie and everybody down there, thank you for pulling that together. And we got a live event going over with Houston and Terry Hochul and the legal team and a bunch of other people putting it together. And, and thank you so much for, for that. I think, uh, Latam, you're going to break the record again for most people volunteering, and uh, that's always fantastic to see. And then, you know, we got a bunch of new things that happened. Uh, customer success is kind of coming in, and that's going to be a story that'll be shared later on. And then we have some of the BMC family stories that we're going to share throughout the day, but uh, we're jammed pack. We got a lot to go, and, uh, you know, I want to, you know, pass it off to Jeff and Jeff kind of give us some uh, thoughts from your side and, and thank well, you Jeff for joining us and making the time out of your busy schedule. I no, I look, appreciate it. Th thanks for having me. It, um, and I, I'm sorry that the, uh, the audio is not going to match up to my face for the moment, but it, um, know that I, if you can't see me, I am smiling because I love Tobias's hair this year. Um, I'm always excited to see it get chopped off, but the green is pretty fantastic. So yeah. Um, I'm actually here in Cary. Um, I'm going to join here for a minute. I got to go to a forecast call and then I get to go outside um, with everybody here. It's a big event. I'm excited to be here uh, to participate in it with the team. But look, this is a really important event um, to BMC, to the sales organization. Um, you know, it started being as being super important in the Americas and it's spread across the globe, which is amazing. Um, so I, first of all, thank you to our, our, our international um, colleagues who have made this um, a global thing, um, not to mention uh, the, the team in Latin America. So um, it's really cool in that regard, but I think it fundamentally aligns perfectly to our values, right? Um, our BMC CARES I, you know, initiative and program is all about, um, you know, I, our involvement in things that are important to us, that make the world a better place, that help people. And obviously, um, St. Baldrick's is an, an entity dedicated to um, preventing and addressing cancer in, you know, kids. And I, uh, what better thing for us to be involved in? So um, I, I'm super excited to be here. Um, I want to say, I make a couple uh, of quick thank yous um, to some of the folks that led up various parts of um, our fundraising efforts by region. So Lee Nash and Katie Riccobono. Hi, Lee, I can see in the picture um, for Enterprise. Thank you. Matt Kerwin and Kelly Hageman um, led our inside sales um, part of this. Celso, Pato, Luciana, and Latam. 
Jacobo, Raul Alvarez, and Morgan Weltner in international, Michelle Bartlett for pre-sales, um, Kristen Sanders and Matt Chapman. For those that are unaware, um, Colin Murphy put a bounty on his hair that I, I'm pretty sure they blasted straight through. So off with his hair, which is going to be great. Um, and then our new team in legal, uh, led by Pat Tagtow um, and Terry Hochul, you know, welcome to them and thank you to them as well. So George, David, everybody, I am super excited to participate in this yet again. It's a deeply meaningful event to all of us and um, I'm excited to see some hair fly. So with that, I'm going to pass it back to you. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. And thanks for making the time. And and I would like to point out that Dave did go to a uh, a partner meeting yesterday like this, though it was though it was brushed, oh but God. it was definitely in full green and full BMC and full support ready to go. So uh, he was this close to recruiting them to uh, join today. which was. I'm just sure he, I'm surprised they're not here, but way to go, Dave. <laughs> So uh, that's great. And, and, you know, Dave, you've been doing this seven years since I said all in. So what does it mean to you today? Yeah. Right? So this day is always, as we lead up to it, I get very um, energized, right? I get very excited for what, what we're accomplishing here. But there's a duality in my emotions, really, right? Um, you know, we, we, we come together and we're going to celebrate in a way. We're going to celebrate life and we're going to celebrate you know, the good work that we're, we're trying to do here. And we're going to hear uplifting stories today of survival and hope for the future. And all of that is, is what today is about. But the duality part of it also is that there's a, a very sobering reality in that in the next um, about two minutes, somewhere in the world, there's going to be a child diagnosed with cancer. And there's going to be a family somewhere who struggles with the possible reality of losing a child. And that is a part, that is the most important part of what today is about and what we're doing is all about. So um, with that being said, I can't think of anyone better at the moment to introduce, properly introduce the mission of St. Baldrick's than Kathleen Ruddy. Let me yeah. Introduce Kathleen. Kathleen Ruddy uh, joined us today. She's actually the CEO of St. Baldrick's. I've, I've gotten to know Kathleen over the years of doing this. And, you know, you talk about somebody who is who is day in and day out with the mission and, and really driving it forward. And, and Kathleen, I personally just want to say thank you for taking the time. And we'd love to hear, you know, words from the helm from you around St. Baldrick's and the cause. And, and just thank you for joining us. Well, Dave and George, thank you so much. I am really thrilled to be here because when you think about impact, um, it's hard to come up with a company or an, any organization that's made the kind of impact that BMC has. And so thank you for allowing me to come and say thank you more personally. And I'm warning you, gentlemen, because you might need to rein me in a little bit, because we are a, a movement of hope. We're about creating hope for kids and real lasting, tangible um, outcomes that mean healthy futures. And I've got a lot of exciting stuff to share because you are making those things happen. So I first want to say thank you all for your leadership and generosity. Collectively, you have all helped make 1,712 grants possible. Um, and those are fueling ongoing research from basic discovery to translational to clinical trials um, for new patients. More than 326 million in research projects to date. But I need to say that the St. Baldrick's Foundation isn't some kind of separate entity. You are St. Baldrick's. Every volunteer, every shavy, every donor, together, we are the largest charitable grant maker in childhood cancer research in the world. So that right there is pretty incredible. And when you look at all the major types of cancers that afflict children and the subtypes, you're really talking about more than 100 types of cancer in kids. And those diseases wipe out 11 million years of human potential every single year. That's pretty powerful. And you are part of an, our growing army that is working to change that reality and turn it on end. But it's complicated, as you can appreciate, because every disease behaves differently in every child, because each child's genetic code is different. And curing cancer is really complicated worldwide because countries have vastly different resources to work with. I can't even tell you 
how many kids the research you've supported since BMC got involved has helped. I can tell you that in the U.S., it's more than 140,000 infants, children, teens, and young adults to date. But I can tell you and assure you that the discoveries you're making possible are getting shared globally. They're going through research meetings, in publications, in education and training programs that allow researchers across borders and across the economic spectrum to learn from one another. A couple examples. So you funded more than 13 what we call international scholars thus far. And these are grants where early career physicians from low and middle income countries train in high income countries to become researchers too. But the condition is they have to return home to their home country to do their work and build their practice and treat kids there. These experiences tend to become more than partnerships. They, they extend past their careers to multiple generations of researchers. And you're going to meet one today who, um, a brilliant early career physician scientist, Dr. Joseph Lubega, who we're so proud and honored to call St. Baldrick's first international scholar. But another way you're making an impact is in child cancer data collection and sharing. And I suspect BMC being what it is, readily understands the power of this kind of research priority for the foundation. Because of the scarcity of pediatric cancer research dollars, most grants only allow researchers to answer the specific hypothesis posed in their study. Because there isn't extra money to allow the researchers to index and share all the data they've amassed through the course of doing that study. So we're trying to change that. We have funded a number of data collection sharing um, portals and, and programs. And one such example is the Pediatric Cancer Data Commons. We were the first funder of that and it started with one disease. But today, it houses the world's largest set of harmonized clinical data for pediatric cancer research. It has hundreds of international collaborator, collaborators who've collected and harmonized data for more than 40 countries and almost every type of child cancer. And today, researchers in every nation have easy access to this data. More than 68 studies and papers have been published because of this collaborative um, platform that all researchers have access to because of you. Uh, you've also supported 12 Robert JRCC Innovation Awards, and these are rare anywhere in medical research, but 100% unique in pediatric cancer because they give researchers the absolute freedom to go wherever their research takes them. And one of our first recipients was Dr. Sam Bajati. Sam leads the pediatric cancer team at Welcome Sanger Institute in the UK. And Sam is laser focused on finding the developmental origins of childhood cancers, including cells that might predict cancer in kids in the same way that a mole in an adult might indicate future melanoma or polyps in the colon might become colon cancer. But what's fascinating is that these types of precursor cells are not seen in kids, which is what makes Dr. Bajati's study so groundbreaking because his team is honed in on a specific rogue cell that appears normal in both cancerous and non-cancerous tissue, but actually suppresses a gene that makes it possible for cells to grow in a healthy way. So when the genes turned off, they found that a kidney cancer called Wilms tumor grows uninhibited. So this suggests incredibly exciting new paths for research where more hope can be uh, uh, pursued and, and achieved. And there are so many other examples of research. I could go on and on, but I will restrain myself. But I just want to assure you that you are making a difference. You are helping to take childhood cancer um, or helping to take childhood back from cancer by conquering kids' cancer and giving kids hope for a long, right. healthy future. So I applaud each and every one of you. Well, thank you, Kathleen. And, and thank you for continuing to push the envelope, right? And question what, what's next, right? So we do a very small part in it, right? We 
we try to join this path and and make an impact but you're you're out there really pushing it and truly thank you for doing that for us and for all of us on this call so we are all out there together this is a team effort we are doing it so thank you all thank you and thank you for joining us that's awesome. <clears throat> we can see some people already starting to shave out there. <laughs> That's great. We, a few years ago, you remember we had folks in Latam were so excited to join. They actually shaved ahead of our event and showed up bald and they were like, what's going on? <laughs> like, that hey, was funny. You know, I think I think that uh to each their own. Sometimes if if you know if if it moves you, then then go for it. But it's uh it's great. And we really appreciate that. And uh truly, you know, it is it is just great to hear right and uh i know that we're going to spend time uh talking a little bit more about it dave you know what uh what are yeah, we yeah what's next? next so if everyone this is a moment when we need everyone to to go on mute what 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 kathleen just talked about is is where the money goes and, and how it's helping if everyone can please go on mute now and if kelsey if you can spotlight lee lee nash and liz that would be great i'm just going to do a quick introduction here for you lee and Liz, um, last year, if you joined us, you recall, um, Lee, our very own Lee Nash, and two of his very good friends, um, the plumbers, um, their son Will was going through through treatment. And um, so we honored him last year, and we put him up there on, on stage, and, and Liz- I got a proper I got a Yeah, so um, we wanted to invite them back this year. Um, this is a moment when everyone, I will say it one more time, please go on mute and, and pay attention to their story. Thank you. Lee Great, thanks, James. Um, I'm Lee Nash, um, part of the enterprise team at BMC. I'm really, really honored to be part of this event again um, this year. Um, I think a lot of people on this call and people listening in, in some way, shape or form are, are touched by um, this disease. Um, and I think that everybody knows someone who's impacted. Um, Liz is a very dear friend of mine. We've been friends since high school. And um, yeah, last year at this point in time, William was still um, in his fight with uh, renal cell carcinoma. Um, and um, unfortunately last year, William lost his fight to cancer. Um, so I'm really personally motivated and honored to be part of this to make sure that this is something that, um, you know, no, no parent or no child should have to go through in the future. And that every little bit that, that we all do today and going forward helps. Um, I want to give Liz just a moment. We've tried to prop up a picture of William here in the background. It's not quite participating, but I want to give Liz a moment here. We found a picture, if I could share it, of W um, with his green hair. He uh, he would just really love that y'all all dyed your hair green. That was for a, a school day when he um, wanted me to dye his hair green when they had crazy hair day. So, um, so yeah, um, you know, I guess yesterday was William's birthday. And so he would have been 12. Um, so think about when, um, you know, your child is turning 11 and, and the conversations you're having with them at that point in time, it's usually about what do you want um, for your birthday and what's on your list and how do you want to celebrate your birthday? But the conversations I was having with William at that time were how do you want to be remembered on your birthday? Because um, when he was diagnosed, there wasn't research enough for his kind of cancer, um, the, the Willems tumor that um, Kathleen was talking about is one we prayed for because although it's rare and hard to treat, there's research out there. Um, but the kind of tumor that William had is very rare in children and um, there's not enough research out there. Um, and so it was a terminal diagnosis when he received it and we knew he had one year to live um, roughly. We knew he, he, he didn't have long. So when he, when it was his 11th birthday, the conversation he and I were having was in future birthdays, how do you want to be remembered? How do you want to be celebrated? And so um, he want to, wanted to be remembered on his birthday with friends. And so last night we had some of his friends over and we played kickball in the yard and had pizza. And it was just nice to have that little boy energy back in the house. Um, and so I think it's so important to raise money for these for this cancer research, there's just so much that we're able to do now with um, immunotherapies and really targeted proton radiation. And there's so much, but um, we can't do it if it's not, if the money's not there and if the research isn't there. And, um, you know, being told your son has a tumor 
it's for sure cancer and there's nothing you can do. No parent wants to be in that position. Um, and so I just thank you for all the, all, everything you're doing to raise money um, so that other parents can have hope that we didn't have. Um, and um, I don't know what else, what else I can say about that. I, I mean, we were really blessed to at least know we had a year and to know that we could celebrate in that year um, to celebrate life with William for that year. But um, he would love this event. He was a goofball. Um, and I definitely cut his hair during COVID and did a terrible job of it. And I did a terrible job on Lee's hair last year and I'll do a terrible job this year. <laughs> There's no, there's no wrong in that type of haircut, but I, I thank you for your strength, Liz, and thank yeah. you for joining us, and uh, you're forever in the BMC family, so uh, thank you. Thank y'all. Uh, awesome. Well, so, um, Dave, what are the numbers? Yeah, so, uh, Liz, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Um, we are currently sitting at $69,000. 797 dollars that's, that's astronomical. Right? We are like a Nope, sorry. Refreshed. We're over 70 grand. Oh, wow. oh, that's, I mean that's... to say four forty five hundred dollars more, and we are probably the number seven seven team, one BMC, uh, in the world with St. Baldrick's. And so I think we can get there. For those who are watching at home, the live stream, right? You are in you are actually in the BMC event page. Now would be an awesome time if you're feeling uh inspired to donate. Yeah. Or to donate again, maybe some more, but you're you're right in the page where you need to be. Find your favorite BMC -er. doesn't have to be me. <laughs> and make a donation. So um Kelsey, uh, I think we're gonna move on now. So we are honored. I'm gonna actually read this today. I usually try to go off script, but man, I, I gotta read this because I don't want I don't want to botch it. We are we are privileged and we are honored to have Dr. Lubega with us today. Um Dr. Lubega, if you can maybe go on camera. Oh, there you are. You see in the bottom left. All right. So I'm going to read. I'm going to read his quick bio, and then I'll, I'll hand you the mic. This is a this is a moment where Dr. Lubega is going to give us tremendous hope for the future. Um, Dr. Lubega has led the training of the first pediatric cancer specialist and the development of the treatment program in six African countries. Dr. Lubega is currently an associate professor of pediatrics, hematology, and oncology at Texas Children's Hospital in Houston and Baylor College of Medicine also in Houston. So we, uh, he was an inaugural recipient of the St. Baldrick's International Scholar Grants uh, and has been receiving grants since 2013. Today, Dr. Lebega shares with us his journey with St. Baldrick's Foundation and the Global Hope Program that he leads. Dr. Lebega, they're all yours. Yeah, um, thanks, thanks, David, and um, I must say thank you to uh, Mr. and Mrs. Nash for sharing your son's story. Um, I think uh, children like your son are the purpose. Many of us um, are here, and and why wake up every day with energy to do what we do. And um, you know, th thank you so much, uh, BMC and all the organizers and everyone participating. So uh, I, I was born and grew up in uh, Uganda, that's in East Africa, and I did medical school there. I had no intention to go in a field like pediatric oncology, but I, I was hit by the really, when you see the suffering of parents and children who unlikely to have cancer, which is bad news anywhere in the world, but in a setting where there's really limited resources for medical care, you know, it's 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 really another level of distress, another level of sadness. And just so you all know, um, there are about four hundred thousand kids that walk cancer every year, and eighty percent of those kids are in countries that really have very limited resources to provide the care those children need. And the reason it's more the, in, you know, cancer, childhood cancer is more in Africa and Latin America and Asia is partly purely because there were more children out there than in developed countries like uh, Western Europe and Northern America. So I left Uganda when I finished my medical school in 2002 with explicit intent of becoming a pediatric cancer specialist and go back and 
help uh, start taking care of kids with cancer until I realized I was really driven by naivety of youth because by the time I became a pediatric oncologist, it wasn't that easy for me to go back and do any work uh, in, in Africa. And that's when the St. Bodrick's International uh, Foundation, St. Bodrick's Foundation International Scholarship came along the way. And um, you really have to applaud St. Bodrick's because many people don't realize how difficult it is to find funding for anything childhood cancer. Uh, whereas federal government in the U.S. funds a ton of adulthood cancers, 70% uh, of childhood cancer research is funded by charities and parents of children with cancer. And St. Bodrick's, like Kathleen said, is really the leader in, in that area. So I grabbed the opportunity and uh, returned to Africa. And St. Bodrick's had made it clear that their interest is that whoever receives this funding helps build systems that improve childhood cancer generally beyond a specific research project. And thankfully that's what I was able to do. And fast forward today, um, the programs I started, I've trained 30 of the first pediatric oncologists in many African countries, in Uganda and Kenya, Tanzania, in Malawi uh, and other countries. Uh, all the folks we've trained have become immediate leaders in these countries and institutions in the field of pediatric oncology. They run nine treatment centers right now, and they see around 3,000 kids with cancer a year. And just to tell you about the impact also, in just not in terms of access to care, but in terms of improvement of quality of care and outcomes, when we started uh, in most of the center died within a month. And right now we are talking about a roughly 50% cure rate. That's still low compared to 80% cure rate in the USA, but it's quite a, a big improvement uh, in, in, in these kinds of settings. Um, and also to me, this brings forward, uh, you know, there is a rule in public health that you can never predict on, um, you, you can never predict how much a certain amount of financial investment is going to make on a health intervention. And St. Bodrick's invested $330,000 in me at the time. And I don't think you can even draw any parallels between that amount of money and the impact it's making on, on the children out there and the long lasting impact of it. So all that is to say that whether you realize it or not, um, these, what may seem small acts of charity of the deem small or little, but actually they can make massive, massive impact, especially in the parts of the world where the challenge is different. It's not discovering new genes or discovering new therapies. It's trying to do research that helps figure out how you deliver, how do you deliver good care in systems where the resources are limited, where health systems may be fragmented. And uh, I, I must thank you all for really all the work you're doing in this area. And uh, to me, it's, it's, it's just energizing to see so many people dedicated to this mission. And thank you so much. Well, we thank you, right? We thank you for everything you're doing, right? And the hard work you're putting in day to day too. So um, <clears throat> you are the, you're the perfect person to lead us into the next phase of what it is. It is time to shave some heads, right? So I think we're kicking it off, David, with, uh, yes. with our friends live and Carrie, right? Yeah, absolutely. And Lee Nash and uh, Lee right, and, right. Uh, and um Katie and Kelly, where are you? Unmute that thing. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, come on. So Do your work. <laughs> Look at that. You got to. You got to give us a broader view of the of the I set know. down there. What is <laughs> what is going what on? Look at we have behind us. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Let's go. Wait, okay. do, you have, do you guys have professional barbers? Because I, I can I upgrade from Dave shaving my head? We 
You were invited here. You said this no. This is definitely not a professional barber. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, I, hope yours, I hope yours gets crisscross and zigzagged. Oh, it's going to happen. It's gonna all happen. over the place. I used happen. to tell people in college that I knew how to cut hair just so I could like play around and I could. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shall and, we? Yeah, and her, 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 her husband, Gil, is a Marine and had a lot more experience doing this kind of thing. Hey, so if you are not on the enterprise team, if you're not on the inside sales team, you're doing a good job. If you're not Jacobo or Lee Nash, could you go on mute so we can get everyone up to the front page while everyone shaves and talks about it? Jacobo, man, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what you look like with long hair. So uh, I'm glad you are shaving it. I actually joined a meeting yesterday and somebody okay. said to me, you look very different. And I said, well, I have four seasons of hair. I have the bald seasons. I have the going into winter and then I have the coming out of winter season. And that's what, that's what I have. Today. Okay. I have the Oompa Loompa season. <laughs> There's no hair product in this either, by the way. Have what? There's no no hair product in this. Oh yeah, this is natural. Was Lee this had this much gray last year? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably not. Ryan, I don't know. How, are you looking into America? Because you're you are perfectly aligned with every single stroke of that razor. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, you're doing a you're doing a perfect job for a self shave. It's, wow, it's fantastic! We've seen Greg Mariano just butcher his hair oh, year so after so year so after so year, so doing it himself. <laughs> Hello. 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 We are from BMC Mexico. All day. <laughs> that is amazing. We were watching that in the background. We were Dave and I were like. Wait, what's going down in this box? There was a lot of activity. Okay. It looked very, yeah. very normal and good. <laughs> yeah, we're already very excited here in Mexico. Yesterday was the oh, rush. Eat it up, Celso. So -so. Eat it up, Celso. So -so. Here we, we go. Should we leave, leave, get Lee with just a mohawk? Yeah, I, Lee, I, I think yeah, we might have to go to mohawk. mohawk. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Make it skinny yeah. Wait, a minute. Wait a minute. It's that's a mohawk. See, it, it would be called the Celso if it was tilted sideways. It's perfect. That's right. Perfect. That's right. Here we go. Oh, oh, uh, also have partners controlling this house. We have two partners, one partner to shave and another partner wow. to donate. So we're all, all in. You guys, you, you are all in it. How, right. many, how many people are there? That is uh, amazing. What about, uh, about 15? <laughs> About 15 people. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Where are you? Mexico City. The office, BMC office, Mexico City. Oh, beautiful. We don't, we, don't have a, we don't have a BMC office in New York City, so you're lucky. Dave will be there next year in Mexico City. He's already signing up. <laughs> hey, Bono, what's going on? Move the camera closer. I can't see Jacobo's head that far away. Can you see it better now? Oh, closer, closer. That is one. Oh, that's what he looks like. There it is. Once again, if you don't have yeah, David Wright, Wright. Look at David too. Wright. David Wright. So everyone, what? everyone who joined last year knows David Wright is uh, is now officially an. Well, last year he was officially. Okay, an honorary. I'm impressed with myself. An honorary, yeah, he's an honorary BMC or here, David. You are. You are once again. At top the of top the of the leaderboard, man, you uh, crushed it again this year. Right now, I think I see twelve thousand two hundred and sixteen dollars, and I'm sure you're still going to be going, man. So we are we are so happy to have you joining this, and you are now officially a member of the family inside the family, as we say. Uh, Marco, just so you know, David Wright shaves only his beard, right? Because that's what he's got. He grows <laughs> that beard out every year. That's one year of growth. <laughs> Yeah, that's. I will never ever have that. I'm like this. Length. Every time I see it, I need like four years for that. Start in September. Wow. Start wow. in September. My gosh. <laughs> just just rub salt in the wounds, David. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> David, David went with beard and hair. See how good he did. Yeah. <laughs> this this is eight months of 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 facial hair for me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I was Kevin, Kevin Argueta. 
Where are you sitting, man? Right there. Where are you sitting? Where are you? Uh, I am at my wife's grandmother's house right now. Well, okay. wanted to highlight the. Where in the world are you, though? Like, where geographically? Oh, where? Sorry. Houston. I'm in Houston. Oh, nice. Yeah. This is my lovely wife here cutting my hair. Hello. I just got to say, um, this is a very fun thing to be a part of. And, uh, you know, being a father of three girls, knowing the resources and the amount of effort this group has put in. And I know there's other groups that do the same. I mean, it truly means a lot. I've uh, firsthand been in a cancer ward you know, in MD Anderson, Texas Children, I've actually done some volunteer work for both. And, you know, you go down there and you never see a negative face. I mean, the children there are inspiring. They're always smiling. You know, they don't give up. And, you know, the children are, are our future. You know, doing this and partaking in this event just means a lot, you know. No, well, we appreciate we appreciate you doing it and uh, truly, uh, truly appreciate it. Um, it's great. Ryan, I, you're done, man. How fast that take you, buddy? That was like, you, you, you had it down to a science. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's 20 years of cutting my own hair after I left home for college. Cause I didn't have the money to spend on a, on a haircut. So, um, I've got lots of practice cutting my hair, but uh, I'm going to go line it up and stuff after this when, uh, when we get done, but it's for a great cause. And thank you guys for including me. And I love to support not only, uh, this charity, but several others. So, uh, it's a great event, and I look forward to participating more in the future. Ah, thank you, thank you, Okobo. It's about time you came close enough. Let me see that man. That is beautiful. By the way, Tobias is now taking pictures of you while you're uh, leaning up. It's not like he's not going to see you on Sunday. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Next up, Terry. We're going to go with you out in Houston. I I don't Kelsey. Can you? Is there any way that we can get Terry Hokel on the first page so everyone can see and she can be streamed here? You guys, hear me. We, yeah. we yeah we hear you okay we want to get you on the first She's page of the zoom okay oh, okay perfect wasn't okay okay first please. can you guys see that yeah <laughs> first person we have here in Houston is John Gervin and he is on vacation this week and he shaved his head from Disney last night <laughs> and he is our biggest fundraiser has raised over two thousand dollars for the BMC legal team and so he sent us this beautiful picture. So there we go. And let me stop sharing. Let me figure out how to stop share. How do I stop sharing? I don't have my glasses. Here, hang on. There you go. That's it. Really? No? How do I stop sharing? It should be easier for it on Teams, right? <laughs> we're, we're a Zoom platform company now. Oh, yeah, yeah. We are. And then, oh, please, please, please. Please. We're stuck. Wait, are you sharing? That's all right. You're not sharing anything. No. I'm not sharing anything. No, now, okay. you are. now it says Terry yes. for sharing. Yeah. Now you're sharing. Now you're sharing. Now I am. Now, well, no, you're on there. You're good. You're good. Oh, you're okay. on the video. You're up there in the upper left. Okay. Can you guys see us? There's a little oh, bit. Yeah, because we see, Dave sure. and I see a big picture of ourselves. It's okay, <laughs> Terry. It's brand new technology. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna turn it over to Sarah and Josh Stratman. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try here. I got a tutorial last night. Let's see how well it took. There will be tutorial. There will not come over. There will be blood. Oh yeah, that feels good. <laughs> That's frozen. Oh yeah. Close the volumes behind. Yeah. He's got a tattoo back there. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> says I heart BMC. <laughs> it says used. <laughs> yeah, do the front. <laughs> leave it last. Actually, just leave that little tuck right there. <laughs> little, little, little curly cute fair, right here. Fair, 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 fair. Wait, you're gonna leave a little piece in the in the front right there? Is that is that what we're going with? I, I will say, pro tip is always is always front to back, so the hair falls on their back. <laughs> first first well, move is if you get if you someone says it's in the back to the front, it goes all in your face. You lost us at pro. <laughs> <laughs>
I've, I've, I've had, I've, I've been shaved multiple different times at many different ways. And I'll tell you, the one with that. <laughs> this whole thing doesn't work out for me. <laughs> so wait till you start. Is that, is that bad? <laughs> it's not in the office. No, I think it's in China. <laughs> Where are they? Are they in our Zoom session? No. no. Oh, Terry, we got some, we got some folks in Houston. Are they in the office? We're in the office. We're in Here, the office. We'll, we'll do a quick uh, yeah. Chad and Baron out there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh my God. Look at that. Right. Hey, everyone. That Fantastic. Thank you for sharing. Terry, Terry and, and the whole legal team and the insurance team, thank you so much for joining in this year. We are so proud of you. All right, Pato. <laughs> in la casa. La Dame is in the house. Sorry, guys. Well, you already heard from the uh, Mexico office, Miguel and the whole team. They have a big, big group there. Many people shaving. Uh, even partners joined us this year. Um, from Argentina right now, I'm with Andy. He's a regular, as you know. We have David. Uh, we have many, many teammates participating. Uh, Luciana with the green hair that we we're making donations so she keep that hair all all year round. Um, What's the bounty? What's the bounty? How much? To, we're, we're <laughs> talking about. Give us a number, Luciana. What's I'm the number? On that. <laughs> it's a great thing What's we do every number? year. Dave, um, George, I love you guys. It's very touching every time we we hear stories and every time I speak with someone. Uh, this whole thing touches people in different ways because of their own experiences, but we all get together every year. Every year we have uh, new people joining and it's something we, we like to do. It's it's a minimum we could do and it, it we know it makes a change. So I'm, I'm very happy to lead these, these guys and I'm very proud that they join us every year. So I'm happy for my LATAM team, very proud. Pato, I have to say, Dave and I, when we when we kind of start the day, first and foremost, he was up at like 6 a.m. texting me. He never texts me at 6 a.m. <laughs> just so you know, deal-wise, anything, I never get a 6 a.m. text. Today, I got to say, and we just realized how lucky we are to be with people like you and everybody on this call that just jumps in and, and we get we get to make this big family together and we're, we're just lucky and doing this part and and making an impact right so thank you and thank you to the to everybody you put a lot of work in you're one of the early people that get an email from us early on about starting and uh you always join all the calls and uh, and we really appreciate all the effort you put in so thank you i don't i don't join all the calls you know that uh, but they, they all text you when thanks you're for saying it, it. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we have a bunch of people shaving this year and it's going to start right now i'm not sure what he's planning on doing I but Something, but I do. I love it, and uh, and Celso is, is somewhere out there too, down in Cary, right? He should be, uh, he should be uh, shaven too. He's with a big group. I'm not sure. Who knows what they come back with this time? Yeah, I don't know. They they're, they're a big group. I don't know. What's going on. Oh, sounds like sounds like the bandwidth is medium down there. <laughs> Want to dial up? Yeah, you're on a you're on a, you're on a AOL dial up down there. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you calling in from a walkie talkie? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a good start to a good dance song, but that's about it. I get I get a little house music coming in. Uh, like, hey, Morgan, I, can I just jab at you for one second? You've been shaving for like twenty minutes. You didn't have much to start with. How could you still be shaving? <laughs> I've been thinking the same exact thing, actually. I think this thing's a little low on juice, so I'm trying to like switch the things and make it happen, but yeah, it's crazy. Look how uh, nice and tidy Morgan is, though. Like, looking yeah. good, Morgan. I'm Where's getting a guy who's like, you know, I don't have much practice doing this by myself, but uh, it's awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, it's awesome. Tam, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your energy, for your passion. Thank you for so much for being here. This would not, this would not be the same without. Oh, there, oh, yeah. there we go. Celso's <laughs> about to get in the chair. There it is. Boy. We're just we're like we're, uh, the um, the audio is not strong out in that parking lot. I think they could only do one or the other, video or audio out there. We're about to see the. I'm, I'm heading out there. I'll bring my audio. Yeah. All right. 
Hey, Lu Luciana, what is the number for LATAM to raise in order for you to wear that that wig for the next month and walk around at SCO with it? What's the I'm number? <laughs> Luciana, don't say a number, otherwise it will come. I will hold you. Right. I will we'll come to you right now. I'll move everybody's. I'm the treasurer. I'll move everybody's money to LATAM, and then. <laughs> All right. I love you and everything you do right with us. So just. <laughs> hey. No problem. That's 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 Kat, that's Katie or Kelly. Someone like Katie and Kelly know we can't hear. Yeah. Uh, uh, all, right. Right. all right. Let's hear. All right. Show him. Show him. All right. Here's everyone. Here's where we're at. Here's where we are at. Holy smokes. Hang on. I'm going to refresh it here real quick. 72,160. And I confirmed if we get to 75, we will be the number seven team in the world. Well, what number so, do we need to hit to get to 400? 80. 80. Okay. We're almost at 400,000 total. So okay. uh, one last reminder for those who joined late on the YouTube channel here. The page you are viewing this from is the page where you can make some donations. And so um, we are rocking it today. I think today alone we have raised... Somewhere around twelve thousand dollars. So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. All right. Up next, a very important. Oh my god. Let me. Let me right, share. Hey, 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 George. Real quick. It's yes. all right. This, this is another person you're raising money for. This is the surviving William surviving best friend. So this is a twelve year old little boy, writing this long, long letter in a lantern to his best friend, who you know was his baseball player, his bicycle rider in the neighborhood. Um, you know, can you imagine being an 11 year old little boy who the boy you told your secrets to in the classroom, you know, you watched just fall apart over a year and had, you know, moved from being able to do everything together to, to having to only be able to sit with your best friend on an oxygen machine and only being able to like play card games basically. And um, this is a little boy who still rides his bike down our street all the time and stops in and says hi to me. And he came over last night on William's birthday and wrote in this just long letter that we sent up to heaven in a, um, in a little um, lantern so he, he could send his best friend a message. And, um, you know, he's, 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 we also are raising money for these other children that are living that are impacted in cancer. So just, um, would love to see you guys be number seven. Well, we, uh, we appreciate it. And that is a beautiful story. So thank you for sharing. And, and that's what we always say, stay human, right? That's, that's the other part of it, right? The stuff around it. So, so thank you. And it's beautiful. So Liz, um, I, I just got done crying from the start. Yeah, the he's he, every time you see him go away, it's he he goes to blow his nose and then come back and uh, get a, get together. So, um, all right, um, we're on to customer success. Yeah, it's, this is a big one, right? Customer staff, customer success is a very important business unit to BMC. But the business part aside, Kristen Sanders, Matt Chapman, you two dove in. I mean, like head first into the deep end. And you said, you know, we're going to do this. You had a bounty on Colin Murphy's hair. You crushed, crushed the bounty. And as we are speaking, you have now, you have now risen above $10,000 as a team. So Kristen, Matt, the floor is yours to manage this how you want. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Hey, thank you so much for including us. This is a this is a cause near and dear to my heart. I lost a friend um, when we were young. He, um, in his teens, developed a transient blood cancer and he passed away into young adulthood. And uh, his name is John Biggs. He invented a word called squidget, which is really uncomfortable things. So that's his legacy, passing it on, squidget. Um, but, you know, I raise money. Um, I raise money for John and his memory. I raise money for my, my stepmom and mentor, Renee Rose, um, and her memory as well, who, who also passed uh, really, really young. Um, this cause has impacted so many of you. And thank you so much for sharing the stories. This has been the most remarkable part of this fundraiser for the CS organization. Not only were we able to do good for uh, people around the world, I believe in 29 countries serving research for childhood cancer, 
but we also got to hear about personal stories um, from from our colleagues um, that were really touching and and did so much to to further our culture and identity and building trust amongst our team. So um, we're really stoked to participate and happy to give for such a, an important uh, cause. Um, Kathleen, thank you so much for being here um, and all that you and your organization do um, for the good of the world. Um, I wanna turn it over if I can to Marco Belushi who has an incredible story um, that he has shared with the CS team and has touched us. Um, and I would think he would love to share with you today. Marco. Yeah, thanks. Uh, well, it's not incredible. It's, it's not that, it's not comparable with the story we heard, heard before, but uh, firstly, thank you for the, for the opportunity to help the children. Thank you for, to the organizers, BMC, St. Beltrix, my teammates, the customer success, and of course, my family and friends and all the doctors and researchers they are the real heroes together with the kids the parents and their family uh, i was uh, affected by this disease myself uh, i had around 2018 i was hit by my daughter when we were playing on my nose and it was bleeding and but uh, it wasn't too serious so i didn't thought anything and, and time passed by then, uh, yeah, I had a wound in, inside my nose, which won't heal. And I, I, I told to my colleagues at work and, and he told me that he knows someone who has something similar and, and they, didn't, they treat, treated it incorrectly and, and for a long time they didn't recognize what, what it is. So at the end, she had to remove the, the whole nose. Uh, so I went to the specialist, I showed him my nose, uh, told him the story and he, yeah, he said that this is nothing serious, just a little small wound that I probably caused myself. I got the cream, went home reassured, like uh, almost two years later, wasn't really better. And I thought that's my thought because I, I pull off the cross every time and it doesn't heal because of that. So then uh, went back to the specialist. He took a, a swab and, and I got antibiotics and yeah, we, which didn't change anything. I just get got uh, diarrhea. For five days, then another. I went back to the doctor. Another five days, the antibiotics, and uh, before I had to go back to him, I called him and told him to yeah, I would like to to get a biopsy. So I got that. He took a little piece, sent it in, and and called me back. I went back to him, and then uh, I got the bad news that it's cancer. At that time, we didn't knew how bad it is, so, uh, because I had it so, so long, he told me that perhaps with one uh, surgery, it, it will be fine, perhaps I need more than one surgery, perhaps I can keep my nose, perhaps not, uh, yeah. Uh, I also keep it for myself until I know that it's, yeah, I, I'm going to survive and, and with one surgery, it will be fine again. Uh, at the end, I got uh, the surgery. They removed some, uh, how is it called? Uh, some uh, thing out, outside of my ear to reproduce or re reform my nose. And uh, yeah, fortunately, I was well insured. I could get the, uh, he sent me to a professional who deals with that day by day, which also did the surgery. And uh, after my nose was healed fully, I had to do 30 days for radiation therapy, which was also not funny. And uh, yeah, I, I'm healed. 
I still have some side effects, uh, but I'm happy and grateful that. It's great to hear. It's yeah, great that, to you're healed. At the end, uh, right? So congratulations and good. And and now uh, the beard, you said. Yeah. 10 years or so, right? Your son did have a mustache on though before. He seemed to have shaved that one pretty quick. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that was a Zoom filter. So yeah, I will shave my beard yeah. and, and yeah, yeah, just w- one message to message to all uh, be persistent get the second opinion trust yourself listen to your body and mm-hmm. to yourself and and thanks a lot for all your help and support and the donations exactly yeah we well we appreciate you and everybody jumping in and and, and uh really making an impact so yeah. um, that's good and, uh, and george that we have guys gonna do the beard for you that's a lot of trust right there that's a lot of trust uh, <laughs> the head the head i seem seems a little uh less risky but i like that i like where you're going that's good awesome um so dave what who's up where, where are we at well Let's go. that's that's it Marco. thank you for sharing so we're going to come to uh sort of the the, the conclusion here really and i do want to you know marco's story is one of survival and we have we have a, another one that I'll just touch on real quick. Um, Michael, our own Michael and the pre-sales team here mm-hmm. he is not once, but twice a survivor. Uh, he was diagnosed at uh, the age of 12 uh, in Germany when there was no research going on. There were no cures. There was no medicine. And maybe one in five were lucky enough to, to get through on the other side. Um, and so Michael wanted to be a part of this today. Um, and if you want to hear his his story of survival? It's a, it's a fantastic one, and uh, um, you know you can reach out to him. And he'll share with you. But Michael, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting what we're doing. And uh, if you want to shave with us now, then awesome. But George and I are going to shave. We got some family here. We got Rob Cohen from I guess you're in the customer success organization, right? Rachel Cohen. Uh, who has been promoted recently into the enterprise sales team. So congratulations. Um, my wife, Jody is here. She's going to shave us. George's wife, Lori, is going to shave us. She might shave herself a little bit. Yeah. No, maybe this year. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get set up. You guys don't have to sit here and watch us shave if you don't really want to, but feel free to chime in with any stories or applause or anything like that. <laughs> You can go, George. You want your cape? I got my St. Baldrick's cape here. Uh, I'm gonna have pair all the but... All right, <laughs> cape less. All right, awesome. Anybody have any any stories they want to share while we do this? All right, so uh, uh, who's gonna hit me up, Gabby? Come on, who's doing it first? <laughs> Dave's Dave's. Dan's daughter, Gabby. She is actually one of the best shavers. Cool. Right, am I putting this up? Yeah. Hold that for a second. Yeah. Move this forward a little bit. Yeah. All right. I'm not coming to school. All right. I don't think I've ever really worn a cape. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, we're going to have Harold the floor. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hit me up, Gabby. Ready? Yeah, fire it up. Let's go. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I got to do this. Dave gets mad at me if I leave the gel in there. It gets too hard. All right. Oops. Anywhere you want. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, George, unplugged it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That, that's the problem. Where, where oh, are you? Yeah, the big one. Oh, thank you. Sorry. See, it wasn't totally me. Uh, I didn't see okay. Celso. Did he go with a Mohawk again? And oh, Greg Mariano, first of all, hang on. I, we would be remiss. Greg, who was also promoted into strategic this year, Greg crushed it, man. You did so well this year with your fundraising. I'm so proud of you. And we are so happy for you to be on the strategic team, both at BMC as well as here in St. Baldrick's. And I got to tell you, man, without your contributions, I don't think strategic would be the number one team on the leaderboard this year. Uh, (laughs) Okay. Yeah, he he called that out. Hey, and uh, Jeff Hardy is uh, shaving Matt Chapman right now. Can you see that? (laughs) Did you miss it? I'll shave him again. (laughs) We get the beers. Yeah, Dave, thanks thanks for telling the story. Um, My wife's going to, to do the job now. So excellent. I'm in with you. <laughs> Love it. And Rob Crump, great job out there. Are you going with the green mohawk for the uh, look? 
No, it's all gonna come off. Ah, oh, all right, all right. You went with the dye too. You gotta, hey, get, you gotta get the dye and the and the shave. <laughs> now I look like now I look like it's like sideshow Bob from The Simpsons. <laughs> Hey, hey, Rob, here's a pro tip, man. When you get to Vegas, wear a hat. <laughs> Trust me. Got it. Yeah, pack the sunscreen. Pack the sunscreen. Lori <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like that. Daddy's hair like that, though. He's not. Right? He looks good. He's got to go to soccer practice tonight. <laughs> Gabby's like, no, I have to walk around with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to go to the All right. Oh, this is great. Do the finishing touches. Yeah, we always will. Uh, yeah. All good? We still got to No, let's get mom in the chair. We still got to hit Jody up. Yeah. What? No, no, no. We'll get mom in the chair. We'll get a shake. Oh, hang on. Let's swipe it there. One. No way. Good. Are you in? Awesome. You in? I'll get some. Get some. Get some. Come on, shave it. Come on, shave it. Not with this one. He doesn't like that. <laughs> All right, Jody, sit down next to me. All right. Uh, no, I'm a big girl. Another honorary member of our BMC team, my Get lovely ready. wife, who was oh. shaving for what the sixth year? Sixth year. Sixth year. Yeah. Uh, it, you ready? Let's yeah. Let's be honest. Jody shaves every year. We should recognize that. Jody, you do shave every year. Every year. It is it is a big deal. And Jody, thank you so much when you stepped up six years ago for that first shave. But every year Jody steps in. So so we shave and then and then throughout the summer she keeps it completely shaved at least once a week. And so I will walk into the bathroom and she'll she'll be shaming me because she'll be shaving and then I go, well now I got to shave. So <laughs> it's a big competition. Absolutely. <laughs> Dave, I think you should keep your hair like that. I think so too. It's very yeah. attractive. At least through scope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least. Through scope. All right, we might have a we might have a spontaneous shave. Not this year. <laughs> Not this year. I hear that every year from you, Rob. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I'm gonna blow it out. See that little tail here. Yeah, you can leave that. Oh, All right. Beautiful. That's good. Okay. Maybe done. Yeah. But there's a. It's really unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. 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 I wouldn't get there. I think you should leave it. I am. Uh, I'm going to leave it. Later. I like it. It's something I could use. I like it. All right, everybody. So we're coming to the closing. Um, I'll, I, I guess I'm going to uh, close the way I opened, which is thank you. Thank you. Um, truly appreciate this. I mean, when we all kind of jumped in seven years ago, uh, the expansion of this, and this is just yep. talks about BMC culture, right? And everybody here is leaning in, making a difference and, and really impacting uh, a great cause. So I, uh, David, do you actually have, happen to have where we are? Um, no, my laptop went into. His laptop went into hibernation mode as he was doing it. Well, we are, we are really close to breaking that 400,000 all time mark. That is, that is an astronomical number, right? George, With you're the, at 72,842. There you go. We can do it. Come on. We can do it. 2,500 more. I, I got to say, thank you, Jeff. Before we go, what do you have to say? I just Marty. want to give you guys a real time look in to the carry event here. We got a lot of head shaving going on. We got the food getting eaten. We got people hanging out in the tent because it's warm here. Because it's warm here. We got a little beard action going. We got a little beard action going. It's all good, man. That is that is right, phenomenal. Oh. We lost him. He Thanks went on mute somehow. <laughs> All right. Well, Jeff went on mute. Um, and it looks like it's a great event. Terry, how is the uh, how is the Houston office? Can you unpin him? Great. No, I don't look, look pretty different. Huh? <laughs> Take it over so you can see. <laughs> you look fantastic. It looks so good. <laughs> what a look.
I <laughs> love the I love all the green hair too. Thank you so much for joining Terry and reaching out and jumping in this year. Really, truly appreciate it. Thank, thank you, Emily. And Kathleen and, and St. Baldrick's, thank you for making this easy for us and really helping us do it as a global event year after year and bringing us all together through the technology and working with us. You truly make this part of it easy for us and taking care of all of that. So thank you to you and your team and Vanessa and everybody out there who meets with us throughout the whole year to make it special. Thank you. Dave, any last words? No, just everyone, just thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I cannot wait to do this next year. If you want to do this at SCO, let your managers know, promote it up, and we'll do it on stage in front of 1,500 people live. <laughs> All right, on that note, thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day. I really appreciate it. It was magical as always. Truly appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>